Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a Bell South trim line in a cool color and this is Barb's equipment from Illinois and she has a note with this unit and she's talking about having some issues with it and we're gonna go ahead and show you what is wrong with the telephone and this is the initial checkout of this telephone now we have the cover for the handset removed so we're gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a look at this unit we want to go ahead and unplug it from the analyzer if you've never seen the inside of one of these units this will give you a look at what they look like inside Now the issue with this telephone is going to be right here at our tone generator. Because when you try to dial this telephone, it only dials out in the pulse rotary signal. And when you push the button down to touch tone, because it has a little button here that says P, and that's for pulse, and T for tone, this unit only dials out in the rotary pulse mode and so that tone generator I see is bad and we want to go ahead and plug the unit in and we'll show you what we're talking about we have dial tone now I'm gonna press a zero and it's just gonna flash you'll see this light I think the video is picking up the light you'll see this light and it'll just flash while we're dialing a zero and we're actually in the tone mode so I'm going to go ahead and dial that zero and it just sits there and it's stuck in the rotary pulse mode and if you put it up in pulse mode it'll do the same thing We can put it down in the tone mode. We're going to hit reset and hang up. Dial a zero one more time. And it just flashes. It's in the rotary pulse mode and it's stuck in that mode. This telephone was probably surged. Or the tone generator IC just gave out and it's bad. And basically that'll be the first function on a tone generator IC chip that will go bad will be the touch tone because that's a more technical part of the IC the rotary pulse signal part of the IC is not that technical so when they go bad they will go bad in the touch tone mode so we want to go ahead and take that IC out and try to locate another tone generator IC and we'll be working on that so we're gonna go ahead and take a short break from the video and we'll start that work we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool trim line telephone we'll be right back okay we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of repairing this telephone and we want to run through a little bit about what's going on now we're removing the solder for the IC chip and there's nine pins on each side so it's an 18 pin IC and we want to go ahead and desolder the last pin and so we're just going to go ahead and do that right now and then we can remove that pin from the solder we want to remove our IC chip make sure all of our pins are loose
So we've removed our old IC. And now what we want to do is we have a pin socket or an IC socket. And the reason why we want to use this is because if we ever want to replace that IC, we can simply unplug it and plug a new one in. So this is an IC socket. Now we have our replacement IC, but we want to go ahead and solder in our socket first. So we're going to go ahead and put that into place. I'll get a couple of uh, solder points started. Now that's stable and we can go ahead and solder the rest of our pins. So we'll go ahead and finish that work up and we'll come right back and get some more video of this really cool trim line telephone by Bell South. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we have our socket installed that's been soldered in. We have our old IC over here and our replacement, the new IC right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug that IC in. We want to make sure that we get all of our pins in the socket, push it down, make sure it's secure, that gives you a look at the solder side, now these are static sensitive ICs so you can if you're not familiar with working around static sensitive IC chips or material and components you can actually blow that IC chip by touching it and shocking it. It's static sensitive. So we want to go ahead and plug our telephone in now. We have dial tone. Now let's find out, make sure our switch is in the tone mode, which is down. So it is in the down position. Let's try our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. So now we know that this telephone has been repaired. What we want to do is we want to go ahead, I'm going to unplug it, and put everything back together again, and we'll come back for a final checkout. So we'll take a short break, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with a repair of this really cool trim line telephone, and we want to go ahead and start our final checkout. Now, we have our old IC, and we can go ahead and throw that away. It is of no use to us, so I'll set that to the side. Now, I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. And when I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. And I want to go ahead and press the button, and you might be able to pick up a little bit of an electrical hum. I'll release the button, press it one more time. So if you hear any noise during the final checkout, 
it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. So what we want to do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle. So we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. And we're going to be dialing out in the pulse mode. So you're going to see the light flash. I'm not going to dial star or pound because in pulse dialing you do not have a star and a pound. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I'm going to hit the reset button which basically hangs the telephone up. I'm going to switch our switch to the touch tone mode. And I'm going to give you some dial tone. And we're going to walk through our numbers in touch tone. Star, zero, pound, I'm going to end in a two. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> hello, hello. Go ahead and hang our unit up. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, we have transmit and receive, and we're dialing out in touch tone and pulse now, we can go ahead and press this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone, and we'll make that call. We can hang up. We can give you some dial tone and we'll call my number and it'll be busy. our unit up. Now that we know that this really cool trim line telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Barb and she can enjoy this telephone once again. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where she uses it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 two three five six nine five nine thank you for watching and have a great day